Hello there, um, so just a quick run through to keep the flow of the videos. Um, I'm going to show you how to change a bucket. Um, I'm sure everyone knows how to change a bucket, but just to make sure um, everybody's got a video here just in case. And how important it is that when you change the bucket on the machine, you've got to change it on the system. Now every bucket that we send out is calibrated to a machine. Um, and you're only supposed to use those buckets else it's going to cause you all sorts of sorts of problems now um, you can calibrate your own bucket but you need to go into the web interface and you follow the online on-screen instructions in the web inf interface you'll need a, a spirit level a tape measure and a plumb bolt and only do that if you're very very sure that you you can carry it out correctly because any error on changing your but measuring a new bucket can cause problems but just for this video process, I'm just going to show you how to change a bucket. So you just go to your job setup tab, and then you go to your attachments, and then you can see a list of buckets there. So you just literally change, scroll down. We've only got one bucket installed on this one for, for whatever reason, um, but there should be a list of buckets that have been calibrated to this machine in that list. And if you're unsure, just double check with the widths and the cutting edge and all the data down here you can measure and check you've got your right bucket and it's, if it's as simple as just pressing on it and then pressing select and that's how you change a bucket